Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we're gonna learn cycle decomposition of a permutation. So in, in the previous video, we learned two line uh, notation for a permutation, and we will have another way of writing a permutation. So let's say pi is a permutation of n. And we can visualize this permutation by drawing a directed graph. We uh, visualize pi using the directed graph. on the vertex set uh, 1 up to n uh, such that i there is an arrow directed arrow from i to j if j is uh, pi of i so basically what it means is that we have uh, an arrow from i to pi of i so example if pi is a permutation like 9, 2, 1, 7, 6, 3, 8, 4, 5. And here we will, we're gonna draw the directed graph corresponding this permutation. So 1, uh, pi sends 1 to 9, so we draw an arrow from a to uh, uh, 1 to 9 and 9 goes to 5 so we draw an arrow from 9 to 5 and 5 goes to 6 so 5 to 6 so I, I used 1 9 9 5 and 5 6 and 6 goes to 3 so 3 and 3 goes back to 1 so we complete one cycle like this and for this we have two get sent to by itself so we draw on a loop like this and four uh, goes to seven seven goes to eight eight goes back to four so we complete the directed graph like this and each uh, connected component is called a cycle so here uh, so this is one cycle it's a connected this is another cycle this is another cycle so we have three cycles here this is called uh, connect this these are called connected components so let me give you a precise definition so a cycle over permutation pi is a list i pi of i pi squared of i dot dot pi k minus 1 of i such that pi uh, k is equal to i pi k of pi to the k of i equals i but uh, pi j is not equal to i for i1 to dot dot k minus 1 so k is the first integer such that pi to the k sends i to i and in this case uh, k is called the length of the cycle of this cycle so it's the definition of a cycle and the length of the cycle and here uh, we so here's an important part we consider uh, any cyclic say cyclic shift of a cycle as the same one as the same cycle 
So okay, so the example is a continued example, so let me uh try to copy this. Alright, uh, maybe uh, we don't need this. Okay, in this previous example, we have three cycles. So, uh, pi has three cycles, namely, uh, one goes to nine, goes to five, goes to six, three, and then it goes back to one. So, this is one cycle, and two. Uh, Four, seven, and eight, and note that one, nine, five, six, three. Any cyclic shift. So this is a cyclic shift. We shift this, but the first one goes back at the end. Is the same. They are all considered to be the same. And there are two more. And the cyclic shifts are the same. And if permutation itself contains only one cycle, then we call it a cycle. So if pi has only one cycle, then pi is called a cycle. So permutation can be called a cycle if it has only one cycle. So example, pi is 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3, 1, 2. So if we draw this, or uh, 1 goes to, using the diagram, 1 goes to 3, 3 goes to 2, 2 goes to 1. So it has only one cycle, so it's a cycle. Another example, let's say 3, 2, 1. If we draw the diagram, so 1 goes to 3, 3 goes to 1, 2 goes to 2. So there are two cycles, so it's, pi is not a cycle. Alright, uh, and the cycle decomposition, the cycle decomposition over permutation pi is nothing but uh, the set of uh, all cycles in pi. So cycle decomposition simply means that we just uh, collect all the cycles. So example, if pi is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 4, 1, 3, say 5, 2, then the so cycle decomposition is that, uh, so 1 goes to 4, 4 goes to 5, 5 goes to 2, 2 goes to 1, so we complete one cycle. 3 goes to 3, so there are two cycles, and the cycle decomposition is the set of them. And notice that uh, every integer appears exactly once in this, uh, among these cycles. In other words, uh, the cycles form a set partition. Since uh, the cycles have to be disjoint, pi are disjoint, mutually disjoint. Uh, if we replace uh, each cycle by uh, 
the set. Instead of a cycle, we will just replace this by a set. A set of each element. We get a set partition of n. Uh, so for instance, here, uh, here, uh, if you replace every cycle just by uh, in the set, the order doesn't matter. So this is a set partition of five, for example. All right. And uh, recall that the uh, Stirling number of the second kind, S, capital S of NK, this is the number of uh, set partitions of N into uh, K blocks, K uh, parts. And this is called uh, and this is called uh, this is called the Stirling number of the second kind. And if you usually uh, we learn Stirling number of the second kind first, but when you hear this number, you will probably you'd probably not wonder what Stirling number of the first kind is. And the thing is, it is related to these cycles. So the Stirling number of the first kind uh, is denoted Small s of n comma k is defined to be actually it has some sign so minus one to n minus k c of n comma k where c of n comma k is the number of permutations of n. Uh, with exactly uh, k cycles. This is called uh, the Stirling number of the first kind. And Stirling number of the first kind and Stirling number of the second kind, they are very nicely related. Uh, but I'm not going to do that in, in this lecture. Alright, so this is the end of the video. Thank you very much.